What's up guys? Triple Demon here again. Riding around the city at night. All over again. <laughs> Actually it's pretty fucking crowded out here. It's Sunday night. But uh not too cold actually. But uh One thing I did want to talk about is the uh, the state of video games. Um, I don't know if any of you are gamers or not, but uh, Xbox One, PS4, they just came out. A lot of people are like, oh man, it's the fucking greatest thing ever. You know, you got the, the console fanboys, the PS PlayStation guys are like, ah, oh, PS4 is better, and Xbox is like, ah, oh, Xbox is better. Honestly. I don't really see a fucking difference, like, yeah, the, the 360 and the PS3, yeah, they were definitely, definitely pretty, pretty different, and back then, in my, my opinion, was, if you had the money, you get the PS3, and you get everything that you could possibly get, all on one platform, without having to fucking buy on extras, or, you know, you do like I did at the time, a fucking broke-ass college student, and you freaking buy the Xbox and you buy stuff as it comes along as you can afford it that's what I did when I was in college and that's what I had was a 360 I mean I'm not really biased to either one and now I have a PS, PS3 as well so I, I have both and uh, the main reason I did is just because there were there were exclusives for one console or the other but you know at this point games are coming out on you know both consoles yeah there's exclusives as far as DLC and stuff like that, but to be honest, there's there's nothing that really interests me anymore. Like, it's it's the same stuff over and over and over. And I know everyone complains about it, but I mean, it's the, it's the truth. Like, you don't really see any innovation. You don't don't really see anything super different. And uh, what's funny is, I don't know if you guys read Cracked or not. But uh, Cracked actually had an article that about some guy that works in the video game industry. And he was basically just saying, like, all the CEOs, you know, they're in charge of everything. But those guys, they aren't gamers. They aren't game developers. They're just guys that, uh, that know how to read financial reports and everything, which is, is fine. That's how, how our business works. Like you gotta, you gotta know that stuff to be a successful CEO. But then at the same time, that CEO doesn't really know. Like they, they don't know how to innovate. They don't know what what has or has not really been done before. Hmm, scooter. So they they tend to stick to safe stuff, and they go by with whatever someone tells them. So it's just like. The market is just stagnant, you know. There's there's nothing really new. Like, I mean, the only thing that I've really seen was, like, Destiny. And I don't really know too much about that. And uh, there was some other, like, almost like, uh, not mech warrior, but you pretty much get to freaking, you run around as, like, an infantry dude, and you can get in these giant robots and, you know, you play as two teams or whatever. That, that one looked kind of interesting. But other than that, you know, nothing's really interested me. Uh, Mass Effect 3, that was definitely a letdown. Uh, Assassin's Creed 3, and then I believe it was uh, Revelations. Revelations was eh. 3 was just, I didn't even finish that, you know. And. And, where was I? And, uh, I don't know if it has to do with me just getting older and having more and then at the same time different interests. But, uh, I don't know, like, I, I'd like to get back into gaming, but there's nothing really that, uh, 
really interest me, you know what I'm saying? Like, I'm looking for something different, you know. I really liked, you know, Assassin's Creed. I, I, I like games with, with good storylines, and that's definitely one thing I see over and over. Like, uh, either great storyline or, or great, great gameplay mechanics, and, you know, everything that has a good storyline lately has been, like, fucked up. You know, they do great for one or two games, and then you get to where it should be the end, you know, the series like, hey, we're done, like Mass Effect. It, it was a disappointment. Assassin's Creed, that definitely was a dif disappointment, because I think had they done just three, and left that, st left, leave it alone, like, just leave the series alone. You know, y yeah, go ahead, make your spinoffs, but do it after the main series is over. Don't fuck the story up. Just to just to make some uh, some more money, you know. And I'm not saying, no oh, fucking video game companies, they're greedy or whatever, because uh, it's pretty pretty competitive out there. Like they're they're competing with mobile mobile games, which is actually what I found myself playing more, which could be due with the the fact that I don't have time to uh, really do anything, you know, long term wise, like. Skyrim or, or Borderlands, you know, those are long games, so if I come home from work and I only have maybe two hours for two, maybe three days a week, you know, I play the game for two hours one day, three hours the other day, and then maybe on the weekend play it, you know, play it freaking all day, you know, but then I come back like, you know, two days later and I haven't played and I'm like, fuck, what, what the fuck is going on? Like, I don't remember anything at all so I guess that's that's my thing like do you guys have any games you could recommend that uh, I should check out maybe reignite my interest or something let me know but uh yeah that's that's my opinion on the matter uh yeah so I think I'm uh, going to cut it off here, and if you guys like what you see, uh, go ahead and uh, like and subscribe, please. Thanks. Later.